goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 games and graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we're gonna be doing a updated video on how to install a game config. Alright. Um, now this one that we are installing it by is created by F7YO. That is the name of the creator for this game config. Once you get down to this download page, always read the full description. After you're done reading the full description, come up and actually we're going to download both of these. Okay. One of them is any files, which is a uh, co configuration setting file. Okay. We're going to download this first one and we're going to download the second one that says V34 current. Okay. We're going to download both of them. So make sure that you select the green arrow to download both of these right here. Okay. It's only two of them. All right. So after you have those downloaded, let's go ahead and jump into the requirements in order for this game config to work. So if you look in the description, it tells you right here to download these three things right here. The first link is the heap adjuster. It's going to lead you right here to this page. Um, this is the name of the creator right here. And in order to um, run this, you don't need any requirements for this. Just go ahead and select the green arrow to download for the current version. And the next link that you will need will be pack file limit adjuster. OK, this one is created by unknown modder right here. Um, this one doesn't need any requirements as well, other than the game config that we're installing it with. So just come up here and select the current one and select the green arrow to download. All right. And then the next link that we will need will lead you to this page for the FW box streamer variable and decals limit patch. Okay. This is created by Tanuki. That is the creator right here. Um, when you get down to this page, read the full description. It lets you know that you do need some requirements in order to run this. Um, if you click this link right here, it's going to lead you to the Microsoft Visual C++. Um, if you don't have this, usually this is already updated when we get uh, window updates in our PCs. Um, so if you don't have this, uh, you can just go ahead and select it right here and download it manually or yeah, pretty much this will be downloading it manually. So uh, then put 8DLL that comes with scriptbookv.net. I will leave links to that in the description. We will not be installing scriptbookv as well. All right. So um, everything will be linked down in the description. All right. Make sure that you have at least your scriptbookv and scriptbookv.net downloaded because we will not be installing that, although that is somewhat needed for the last one to work. OK, so once you have your requirements installed and you have your game config, heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster and FW box downloaded. It should look something like this on my left hand side. I have about five downloads. First one is the FW box. Second one is the game config. Then we got heap adjuster any. And then we have the any files V4. And then we got the pack file limit adjuster. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. Um, oh, before we do that, on the right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and head back to the downloads and open up the FW box folder. Inside of the FW box streamer variable folder, we're going to have these two files right here. What we want to do is select these two files right here, drag and drop both of them over to our GTA 5 directory. Boom. And uh, yep, I'll go ahead and replace that file right there. We will also need open for, but don't worry. I will drop all the links down in the description to everything that you need. All right. So let's go ahead and head back. Press the back arrow. We're going to um, skip the game config folder for right now. We'll come back to that. Let's go to the heap adjuster any folder. Open that folder up. There's going to be two files inside that folder. Take both files, drag and drop them over to your GTA 5 directory. All right, I'll just go ahead and replace those. All right, now press the back arrow. Now we want to go into the INI files, V4, okay? Well, not just yet, not just yet. Let's skip that. We'll come back to that. Let's go to the pack file limit adjuster folder, okay? Pack file limit adjuster folder. Open up that folder. We are going to take these two files that are inside right here, okay? These two files I have highlighted, and we're going to drag and drop that over here to our GTA 5 directory. 
drag and drop all right now let's go back to our downloads press the back arrow now we want to go inside of the ini files okay open up the ini files folder inside that folder is going to have some configuration settings and a file okay now if you pay attention to these that uh, we are installing we had just installed the fw box but these are updated um, configuration settings for those that we just installed okay so we're going to take this one and the heap adjuster and the pack file limit adjuster we're going to take these three that i have highlighted right here drag and drop all three over here to our gta5 directory all right and replace the files in the destination all right that is going to make sure that all the other stuff we had just installed are going to work on the current version of the game all right now from this point we could go ahead and open up our open four you should already have a uh, mods folder if you don't go ahead and create a uh, mods folder we'll create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase after that has been created go ahead and open up your open four once your open four is open go ahead and select edit mode make sure that your edit mode button is turned on um, now we want to start with the side column okay if this is your first time you want to start with the side column you want to select update then you want to select update.rpf once you select that a red banner is going to pop up it's going to say copy to mods folder select copy to mods folder if you already have it in your mods folder it's going to say show in mods folder once that has been copied to mods folder select common then select data and we are here this is where our game config will be going okay so let's go back over to our downloads let's open up the gta 5 config v34 folder inside that folder we are going to have three more folders we want to open up the gta config v34 for version of the game the current version of the game okay let's open up that folder right there inside that folder is going to be two more folders one is going to say for less mods the other one's going to say for more mods depending on your gta build on how many mods you have installed you want to pick according to that so me i like to play with a lot of mods so i'm going to pick the folder that says for more mods okay if you have less mods pick the other folder once you have selected that folder if you look inside you are going to see different types of game configs okay everything from zero uh zero one times traffic which is uh like barely any traffic at all barely any pids and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you will have five times traffic five times pids which means you know five times the traffic five times the pids all right so you could feel free to pick whichever one that you like for me i like going with the second to the the second to the first one pretty much it's the second one in the list is zero one traffic zero one pids because i work with a lot of mods but feel free to install whichever one that you want all right so once you have picked whichever folder open it up and inside that that folder you will find your game config go ahead and select that game config drag and drop it down over here into open four all right I already have a game config in here modified this is where you drag and drop it once it's dragged and drop you are all good to go we have everything installed I have one more thing that I want to go over when it comes to pack file limit adjuster since that isn't being updated and hasn't been updated in a few years and it um it's been having a lot of uh, a lot of complaints with it crashing people's games on these latest updates so i will say this after this when we run the game if your game does crash on startup or shortly after the game starts i will go inside my gta 5 directory and i will remove pack file limit adjuster you want to go inside your gta 5 directory and locate the pack file limit adjuster it's going to be two files you want to take those and delete those okay that's only if after you run the game and the game crashes on startup or shortly after the game turns on it's going to be pack file limit adjuster i guarantee you okay so let's go ahead and minimize any other windows that we might have open and run the game all right well there isn't uh too much to show um other than the game turned on you know my game turned all the way on it didn't crash i have all the files installed that i showed you earlier and i also have other mods installed um, I have a 200 car uh, replacement where it replaces uh, the cars on the street with uh, add-on cars. This is a, a cab from San Andreas. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have a lot of mods running in here as well as graphic mods. And uh, 
the game hasn't crashed or nothing like that i haven't received the error but like i mentioned earlier if you do receive any type of errors especially memory errors um, you definitely want to get rid of the pack file limit adjuster all right and um yep you should be good from there yo so if this helped y'all out to install the game config in a current version of the game in 2025 or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 yo's games and graphics me and a uh, big bowl and ass frank be out of here till next time yo i ain't even seeing this don't become no murder case now nigga I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.